but I'm sure you know. Hey guys. Hey guys. The glimmer shine is going to be the finishing shine. Inspired by the films of the 40s and 50s, for me the hair kind of came from uh, Catherine Deneuve and The Hunger. You know, very glamorous, very set hair, very done, very French. Using a cream to set the hair, so even on this hair, which is very fine hair, you can see it's very soft, it's very malleable. We're using a, the Moroccan oil hairspray. At the end of it all, we're using the glimmer shine spray. And the final touch is going to be this strip of crystal. And if you hold, hold it nice and taut, it gives you a really beautiful straight line all the way through. We're just taking that right the way down into the bun. We'll call it modern glamour. You are beautiful. Thank you. With the pretty yep. yep. with a little cutie. Yep, will do. The look this morning is um, how to revisit um, Hollywood. So we, we took all those very classic, you know, pretty dramatic red carpet uh, makeup, but we twist it. We do the crease with navy blue. We do the highlight, you know, on the eyelid and on the eyebrow with a very silvery, metallic, futuristic um, eyeshadow. Strong eyebrow, kind of mascara. The face is pretty nude, matte skin finish. The lips is um, so like a raspberry stain. We've been fortunate to dress a lot of them, mostly, but we have never dressed Natalie Portman. Okay, okay. Well, hold on one second. Watch your back. We love Rumor. You know, she's out in Hollywood and she's so fun and she has such a a, a great way that she puts herself together. So and she embodied all the collections too. She was she started yeah. off with this Mark and James. And then she also she wears couture and she wears collection. She really, you know, is soup to nuts for Badger and Michigan. She's great. Love the red hair. Thanks for being here. You're great. Hey girl, how are you? So nice to see you. And right to the center. And right here, please. Oh, so good to see you. Lovely ladies. Love. Dajimishka is all about the glamour of old Hollywood put through a modern lens. And we're really inspired by a lot of the old movies, our favorite movies, you know, all about Eve, the women, dark victory, and these iconic party scenes that are in these movies with these amazing evening gowns, mostly designed by Adrian, so that was a big influence for us this season. It is, like the first 12 looks on our runway are very Adrian inspired. The setting was so gorgeous, that video behind with the smoke and the city street, it made you want to go out and have a good time. It's out of that back alley juke joint effect. Um, I just love that it's really unique and, and different and you know, there's always... A lot of, I actually really love all the detail work that they do. I mean, there's a, it's, it's something about it that, you know, it's, it's sexy, but it still gets to be very kind of girly, which is a great kind of mix, I think. I just feel beautiful in it. You know, I think they're very good at, um, you know, designing clothes that show off a woman's body, you know, women with curves, and, and um, I just feel beautiful every time I wear one of their pieces.
I loved a lot of the gowns. I thought the gowns were interesting. It's hard when it's all black to get really excited, and we saw so much black, but I loved the splashes of color. Anytime there was a splash of color, and I loved the, the old-fashioned elegance, like the peplums, all, those looked fresh. When we got into a more 40s or 50s feel, it looked very fresh. Uh, the accessories are more important to us than ever. Uh, beautiful uh, jewelry collection, uh, a lot of pearls, um, and it's it's very glamorous, but still very real at the same time. They're real clothes. They're not they're not costuming. Right, everything on the everything on the runway is going to be in a store. We don't do, really do things that are not going to go into stores. We don't do runway pieces, you know, runway pieces that are just for show. We really want people to dress this way and show how we really feel about things. Exactly, all the day clothes have a little bit of stretch in them so that they're comfortable and practical. There's little touches of feathers, uh, a lot of soft, subtle draping. We opened a new uh, outerwear collection. It was so bloody cold this winter, so we were into <laughs> we coats. Inspired. Yeah, we were very inspired. And um, all these like weightless, just glamorous shearlings that could be tossed over an evening gown or over a pair of jeans. I love the double bow dress, the pink and the black bow. Uh, black seems fresh when people are pairing it with a color. If it's just all black, it, it seems a little redundant. And I love the way they mix the day into evening, mixing the cashmere with sequins. It's just, I think, a, a very effortless elegance. opened our flagship store on Rodeo. So we're, we've been out in LA a thousand times and it's, you know, that's such an important part of what we do and it's so glamorous and um, so that's the top of our mind. Um, but the collection is, is, it's day to evening. Again, we're showing Mark and James couture collection, everything, but everything sort of has a glamorous sort of slant to it. Um, or it wouldn't be Bachelor Nishka, right? Yes, exactly.